NASA space probes have recorded a powerful collision and it's on the surface of Mars, the impact of a 200-ton meteoroid. Soviet astronaut breaks silence before his death and reveals terrifying secret. In the annals of space exploration, few narratives are as enigmatic as the Soviet Union's foray into Mars exploration. After achieving significant milestones in space, the Soviets aimed their sights on the Red Planet, hoping to mark another first in space conquest. However, following a seemingly successful landing, there came an unanticipated silence, a mystery that would remain unsolved for decades. In this video, we delve into the captivating tale of the Soviet Mars landing, shedding light on the technological triumphs, the unforeseen challenges, and the persistent questions that still hover around this audacious mission. The Space Race and Mars Exploration The mid-20th century witnessed one of the most intense periods of geopolitical competition, the Cold War. Underlying the political and military tensions between the USA and the USSR was a battle for technological supremacy, most prominently manifested in the race to explore space. In 1957, the Soviets took an early lead with the launch of Sputnik 1, the world's first artificial satellite. This unexpected achievement caught the American public and policymakers off guard, pushing the US into immediate action. This response led to the formation of NASA in 1958 and an accelerated focus on space exploration. However, Soviet achievements continued to pour in. The USSR not only sent the first human, Yuri Gagarin, into space in 1961, but also marked significant milestones like the first woman in space, the first multi-crew mission, and even the first spacewalk. Each accomplishment heightened the competitive spirit of the space race and pushed the U.S. to double its efforts. America's answer came in the form of the Apollo program in 1969, achieving the historic feat of landing humans on the moon and safely returning them to the Earth. It effectively leaped ahead in the race. However, the space race was about more than just the moon. Both nations also eyed other celestial bodies, with Mars prominently in the competition's narrative. Mars, Earth's sibling planet and Soviet ambition Mars, often dubbed Earth's sibling planet, has long captured human imagination due to its similarities in axial tilt, rotational period, and speculated history of water and vegetation. The allure of Mars was not merely scientific, it represented a greater challenge and emblem of unparalleled exploratory triumph. The Soviet Union's journey towards Mars was characterized by both ambition and adversity. Its Mars program began to crystallize in the early 1970s, recognizing the significance of the 1971 Mars-Earth conjunction, a moment when the two planets would be in minimal distance from each other. Such conjunctions reduced energy requirements for interplanetary flights, enabled heavier payloads, and increased mission success chances. Mars 2 and Mars 3 launched in 1971 and capsulated the Soviet Union's renewed vigor. These missions were not just attempts to reach Mars, but were comprehensive in nature, consisting of orbiter modules and attached lander modules. The design showcased the accumulation of Soviet space knowledge, with spacecraft weighing approximately 4,650 kilograms, designed to endure the challenges of interplanetary travel. At the heart of these missions lay the Prop-M rover, a small, innovative machine designed to traverse Mars's dunes with ease. Supported by skis, it provided necessary ground clearance, equipped with advanced detection bars to navigate Mars's rugged terrains. This rover was a herald of potential for robotic exploration, relaying Martian soil data back to Earth. Challenges and Triumphs of Mars 2 and Mars 3 The Mars 2 and Mars 3 missions were multidimensional, aiming to examine Mars both from its orbit and directly from its surface. The orbiter's primary task was to image the Martian surface, study its atmosphere, and relay data from the lander to Earth. It was equipped with a suite of scientific instruments, including photo-television cameras, infrared and ultraviolet spectrometers, magnetometers, and radiometers. The lander, on the other hand, was where the real excitement lay. 
Housed within a spherical casing, it was designed to survive a hard impact if its soft landing systems failed. Encased in a conical braking shield, the lander's descent involved a meticulously planned sequence, including aerodynamic braking, parachute deployment, and retro rockets. One of the most innovative features aboard the lander was the Prop M rover. Weighing no more than 5 kilograms, this tethered rover symbolized Soviet ingenuity. With its square-shaped body and skis, it was meant to navigate Mars's dunes efficiently. Equipped with advanced detection bars, it could navigate the rugged terrains of Mars, avoiding potential obstacles. The 15-meter connecting cable allowed it to venture out from its parent lander, transmitting data back about Martian soil strength, density, and texture. The mission objectives of Mars 2 and Mars 3 were comprehensive. They aimed to study the Martian atmosphere's composition and surface geology while also searching for potential organic compounds and understanding the planet's geology, atmospherics, and magnetism to comprehend its potential to support life. Despite their technological marvels, these missions faced their share of challenges. The Mars 2 and Mars 3 missions, launched by the Soviet Union in 1971, were significant endeavors in the history of space exploration. These missions were part of the larger space race between the United States and the Soviet Union during the Cold War era. While the U.S. had achieved notable success with the Apollo program, the Soviet Union set its sights on Mars, Earth's neighboring planet, as the next frontier. Mars, often referred to as Earth's sibling planet due to its similarities, had long fascinated scientists and space enthusiasts. The Mars 2 and Mars 3 missions were designed to explore and study this intriguing planet with the goal of advancing scientific knowledge and technological capabilities. These missions were ambitious and multifaceted. Each consisted of an orbiter module and an attached lander module. The orbiter's primary purpose was to capture images of the Martian surface, study the planet's atmosphere, and relay data from the lander back to Earth. It was equipped with a suite of scientific instruments including cameras, spectrometers, magnetometers, and radiometers designed to gather valuable information about Mars. The lander, on the other hand, was tasked with the challenging mission of making a soft landing on the Martian surface. It was designed to withstand the harsh conditions of Mars, including its thin atmosphere and rugged terrain. The descent of the lander involved a carefully orchestrated sequence of events, including aerodynamic braking, parachute deployment, and the firing of retro rockets to ensure a safe landing. One of the most remarkable features of these missions was the inclusion of the Prop M rover, a small robotic vehicle weighing just a few kilograms. This tethered rover was a testament to Soviet engineering ingenuity. It had a square-shaped body and skis, which allowed it to navigate Mars's dunes and rugged landscapes effectively. Equipped with advanced detection bars, it could detect and avoid potential obstacles on the Martian surface. The rover was connected to the lander by a 15-meter cable, enabling it to venture out and transmit valuable data about the Martian soil's properties, such as its strength, density, and texture. The scientific objectives of Mars 2 and Mars 3 were comprehensive. They aimed to study the composition of the Martian atmosphere, investigate surface geology, search for potential organic compounds, and explore the planet's magnetic field. These objectives were driven by the desire to answer one of the most enduring questions in planetary science – whether Mars had ever supported or could support life. However, these missions were not without their challenges. Mars 2, despite an initially promising start, ultimately failed to achieve a soft landing and crashed onto the Martian surface. In contrast, Mars 3 successfully executed a soft landing, but its operational life on the Martian surface was brief and contact with the lander was lost relatively quickly. Nonetheless, Mars 3 managed to transmit the first ever image from the Martian surface a historic achievement in its own right. The Mars 2 and Mars 3 missions were significant milestones in the history of space exploration. They represented the Soviet Union's ambitious foray into interplanetary exploration and showcased their technological prowess. While these missions faced setbacks and challenges, they left an indelible mark on the quest to unravel the mysteries of Mars.
and their legacy continues to inspire future generations of space scientists and engineers. So, that's the end of this video. Do like the video and share your views in the comments section. Subscribe to our channel and follow for more.